Assalamualaikum and hi. So today we will enter a new chapter, chapter 5, Work, Energy and Power. In this video, we are going to look at the subtopic 5.1, Work, where we have two learning objectives to be covered. The first one is to define the work by constant work force, W is equals to F dot S, and to apply work done by constant force and also from the force displacement graph. Okay, so work done on an object by a constant force is defined to be product of the magnitude of displacement times the component of the force parallel to the displacement. So this is how we are going to define work done. However, we have alternative definition here, which we will stick to this definition where work done is defined as the scalar product between force and displacement of the body. If you remember, we have studied scalar product in our chapter 1 where scalar product is also known as dot product A dot B so this is what we know we called as a scalar product where A dot B is A B cos theta so now we are going to use this scalar product to define our work done which is the work done is defined as the scalar product between the force and the displacement of the body. So we have W is equals to F dot S, where it is equals to F S cos theta. W is the work done. F is the magnitude of the force. We are only talking about the magnitude. Ignore the direction here. S is the displacement of the body. And theta here is the angle between F and S. Let's say you have displacement to the right and the force you apply is in this direction. So the angle between them, between F and S is what we call the theta here. Work done is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity here means that it only has magnitude, no direction. Magnitude only. So the unit for work is joule. The unit for work is joule. So what is the, besides that, there is another unit which is F dot S. F has a unit of Newton. Displacement has a unit of meter. So we can also use Newton meter. Or if you open Newton meter, if you see in details what is Newton, force is actually mass times acceleration. Mass is kg. Acceleration is ms negative 2. Alright, so this is your force here. Multiply with the meter so you can also use the unit of kg m square s negative 2 for your work done so there is three unit for work done joule is the common used newton meter or kg m square s negative 2 all these three are accepted okay work done on object is only zero when Alright, you are going to experience zero work done for these three cases. First one is when the force itself is zero. There is no force applied on any object. Therefore, the work done on the object is going to become zero. And if the object is not being displaced, maksudnya awak tak gerakkan objek itu. Objek itu tidak bergerak dari satu tempat ke satu tempat yang lain. There is no S, S sama dengan kosong. Maka the work done is also zero. Dan juga... If the theta is 90 degree, maksudnya, tadi theta was the angle between the S dan juga F, betul? So, however, if your F and S are perpendicular to each other, 90 darjah, maka kita akan dapat work done kita zero because W is equals to FS cos theta. So, kalau F kosong, you're going to end up with W yang kosong. Begitu juga W is equals to FS cos theta. Theta, if your S here, let's say ini F, your S adalah kosong. Anything multiplied with zero, you will end up with zero juga. Begitu juga W is equals to F S cos theta. Kalau theta kamu dekat sini adalah 90. Cos 90 gives you a zero value. So, you will end up with zero work done. Okay. Kalau kamu tak apply any force, you're not applying any force on the work, uh, sorry, on the object, work then on the object zero. Kalau objek itu tidak bergerak tempat, okay, kena ada displacement, kena ada perubahan, 
dari segi jarak dari satu tempat ke another tempat. Kalau awak apply force tapi objek itu tidak bergerak S sama dengan kosong. So, contoh macam awak tengah tolak dinding bangunan ini. You know you cannot push the dinding. The dinding takkan bergerak. Tapi awak pergi you tolak juga. Awak rasa macam awak dah letak tenaga yang banyak. However the work done here is zero sebab objek kita iaitu dinding tidak ubah tempat. Okay and then lastly adalah the angle between the S dengan F. Kalau 90 darjah, work done is zero. Okay, next we're going to look at. Okay, next we're going to look at how do we find the total work done on an object. Okay, how do you find the total work done on an object adalah first you have to identify how many forces acting on the object. Let's say this is your object. Kalau kamu tengok dekat sini, you have three forces acting on the object. Ada F1 yang tengah tarik dia in this direction. F2 is pulling it backward and F3 is pulling it upward dekat sini. However, your object is displaced to the right. Objek kamu bergerak ke kanan. So, kalau nak cari total work done, you have to find the work done due to force 1. Campur dengan work done due to force 2. Campur dengan work done due to force 3. So, kita tahu setiap satu force ni, dia akan ada work done dia sendiri. W1 akan sama dengan F1S cos theta 1. Lepas tu, F2 juga akan produce one work done iaitu W2 sama dengan F2S cos theta 2. Begitu juga dengan F3 ini. Kamu akan ada W3 sama dengan F3S cos Theta 3. So basically untuk satu objek ini kita ada tiga forces acting. Maka all these three forces akan ada work done dia. So kalau nak cari total work done what you do is you simply sum them all. Tambah work done by force 1 dengan work done by force 2 dengan work done by force 3. Alright. Kalau ada lagi banyak force you're going to add mereka lagi. Work done by force 4. Campur lagi dengan work done by force 5. It doesn't matter lah berapa banyak force kita ada akan tambah dengan semua work done by each of the forces itu untuk dapat W total. Ataupun selain daripada itu, there's another method here. You can also do work done here. Total work done is equals to F net S. Maksudnya kamu tambah semua forces ini. You're going to plus the forces and then you're going to multiply with the displacement. However, kena ingat bila nak cari F net, F adalah vector. F adalah vektor. So, bila nak cari F net, kena consider F along X dengan Y exit. So, kena tambah F along X dulu and then tambah F along Y. Lepas tu cari magnitude, summation, Fx square plus summation, Fy square. Baru, ini adalah F net kamu. Alright. So, you have to find your F net and then darab dengan S. So, kita ada dua kaedah dekat sini. Okay. When you are doing work done question, awak kena remember work done adalah scalar quantity. Scalar. So, bila dia scalar quantity, dia tak ada magnitude. Dia tak ada magnitude. However, your answer for work done akan ada positif dan juga negatif. Work done can be positif ataupun work done can be negatif. Remember, positif negatif ni bukan direction eh, sebab work done adalah scalar quantity. So, apa maksud positif dan negatif uh, ini adalah if it's a positive work done, work done yang kamu dapat tu adalah positif, kamu dapat W sama dengan contoh 50 Joule. Okay, ini dikenali sebagai work is done on the system. Okay, maksudnya kalau sistem kamu dekat sini adalah kamu ada satu objek, you're applying forces, contoh semua forces ni lah. F1, F2, F3. So, bila awak cari W total tadi tu, awak dapat positif 50 Joule. Okay, this positive indicates that the work is done on the system. Sistem kita adalah objek ini. So, apa maksud dia adalah kerja dibuat pada sistem itu. Energy is transferred to the system. So, olah-olah kita tengah bagi semua energy ke dalam objek itu. However, kalau kita dapat negatif dekat sini. Negatif contoh, bila awak tambah semua, W total kamu, kamu dapat negatif 20 Joule. Contoh. Alright, when you get a negative, here, this negative indicates that work is done by the system. Maksudnya, objek itu kena buat kerja sendiri. Okay, bukan tenaga-tenaga uh, luar yang tengah buat kerja pada objek itu, tetapi objek itu kena buat kerja sendiri. The energy is transferred from the system. Dia seolah-olah untuk objek itu bergerak dari tempat A ke tempat B 
kerja itu bukan dilakukan oleh faktor-faktor luar tetapi oleh objek itu sendiri. Okay. And then lastly we are going to look at the second sub, uh, learning objective kita iaitu graph of force against a displacement. Force against displacement. So kita akan ada graph F versus S. Okay, force versus displacement. Berdasarkan graph F versus S ini, the area under the graph here is actually equals to the work done. Alright, setiap kali kita ada graph of F versus S, area dia, area dekat sini adalah kamu punya work done. Okay, so work done is equals to the area under force displacement graph. Okay, so contoh dekat sini kalau kita nak cari area dekat sini W akan sama dengan kita split dia kepada dua triangle. Cari area untuk triangle 1, cari area untuk triangle 2 and then kita tambah. 1 over 2, tinggi area triangle ni adalah F. Jarak dia dekat sini adalah, ini dia bagi S kan, S over 2. And then campur dengan 1 over 2, another triangle, second triangle kita. Kita ada F juga, tinggi dia darat dengan S over 2 juga dekat sini. Okay, and then do your max, awak akan dapat the total area dekat sini. Okay.